He was an Omaha staple for decades, known for his work ethic and happy outlook. Now one group is working to cast his memory in downtown Omaha. Reverend Livingston Wills would walk our city streets selling brooms while spreading wisdom and bringing happiness to everyone he encountered. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. Craig has the night off. Now some Omahaans want to honor the broom man by putting a life-size sculpture outside the courthouse. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Emily Zink has the story. He's proof that good things can come out of North Omaha. He's proof that people can work and, and earn a living and have pride in what they do. Six days a week, no matter the weather, Reverend Livingston Wills walked the streets of Omaha selling brooms. Two decades ago, KMTV followed the broom man for a day. What can I do for you? Oh, broom today? Oh, yeah, I'll take four. Four? Steve Gordon says his great grandfather was the hardest working man he knew. After a while, you forgot that he was blind. And I think he, in a way, not so much forgot, but it just was never a problem. Gordon says Wills worked until he couldn't work anymore. He passed away in 2008 at the age of 91. Now a local committee is working to keep the broom man's memory alive. This is the most satisfying project I've ever worked on. With the help of the Downtown Omaha Inc. Foundation and a GoFundMe page, Mark Kraft is hoping to raise $150,000 to put a bronze broom man sculpture outside the courthouse. If someone was walking by and happened to encounter the statue, it, it should shock them a bit. Oh, I haven't seen you in forever. Gordon says the well-traveled downtown spot is the perfect place for the life-size sculpture. This is often where he would start. Sculptor John Liba says he can't wait to bring the broom man back to life. Imagine having all these, these brooms you're selling, just carrying these brooms, but still, you know, having the integrity and the class, well-dressed, knowing that he's out there selling to people. Uh, he's proud of himself. All those energies are the things that I want to put into this sculpture. Emily Zink reporting. The committee says they have been in talks with Omaha's Building Commission about putting the sculpture outside the courthouse. The Building Commission wants to see the final product before they give the okay.